Uh, welcome to your market update and charts of the day for Monday, the 20th of May. Mike Smith in analyst to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. If we look across the news, US equities ended the week mildly higher with all major indices slightly to the upside on Friday, with the exception of the Nasdaq, which was slightly to the downside. We are at the end of a positive earnings season, which has driven this market rally to the upside and that hit of record highs. 78% of the S&P 500 have beaten expected EPS, so eyes will return uh, to focus particularly on key data this week. US futures are mildly positive in early Asian trading. Asian equity markets are generally higher, with the ASX up two thirds of a percent. European futures are pointing to a positive open also this afternoon. US dollar index was under pressure last week, but did manage to hold the 200 EMA in a neutral, neutral Friday. There isn't much movement in the USD today if we look at the index as a whole, although obviously there are moves in individual USD crosses. The yen is looking weak again today. Gold is posting a record high close with follow through in Asia so far today. And copper also surged again, sits so comfortably now over that two year high we reported the test of last week. All is testing resistance around that 200 EMA. It has been in this tight trading range now for a couple of weeks, but it looks as though we may be testing to the upside at this stage in the Asian session. Bitcoin still hasn't breached that 66.6K resistance and has been pretty flat over the last few days in terms of a close, as though it's been choppy days, obviously. Chinese interest rate decision was released this morning and is paused as expected. Uh, little else of note today, apart from Fed member speeches due tonight. Throughout the week, Wednesday's FOMC minutes and PMI data, the highlights for the week. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, AWC continue to look strong and this move again today over this previous high that we hit on the 14th last week. We're now 172. To put that into context, we look at a weekly chart and you can see the importance of this level. If we just pop that line on there at 171 so we are testing this significantly potential move up to two dollars on the card so very strong potential candidate for consideration for a long trade uh, we did reference some yen weakness we can see here the aussie yen pushing higher again towards that 105 level you can see we're trading around 10440 at this stage we do think this may have the potential to move up to, uh, as we said, 105.09. If we just look at the 30-minute chart, you can see we did pull back a little bit, but this still looks like a trend continuation. Uh, so we'll be looking for a breach of this swing high from today at around about that 104.57 level for a potential move up those 43 pips to retest 105. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.